Hi, it's Elsie. Welcome to my channel. I got asked to do a tutorial on her or the sun edit in CapCut. I've been trying to figure out how to do the tutorial and make it easier to understand. I have decided to make the tutorial into two parts. So with this video, I'm going to show you how to create the first part of the edit. Now let's get started. First, we are going to create the background. Click on new project. Click on start videos. Click on the transparent background one. Then click on format. Select one to one ratio. Then click on canvas color and select a color that you like. You can also import your own background if you want. Then adjust this to 5.9 seconds. Go to the beginning. Click on overlay, add overlay, then click on stop videos, select a white overlay, then click on edit, crop, one to one ratio, then you want to align this with the main background, then click on the beginning of the white overlay at the first keyframe, then you want to zoom out the white overlay to make it about this small, then add a keyframe at the end. Then go to the middle, which is at about 3 seconds, add another keyframe. This time you are going to zoom in the overlay to about this big, which is about half of the square. So this is what we have. Then click on export. Click on new project to open the video we just export. Then click on effects, video effects. Then select split nine screens. You would select the effects one more time. You can add more if you want more square, but I think two is good. Align the effect with the main video. Then click on the main video, rotate it to about 45 degree, and then zoom in to fill the screen. Then get to the beginning, click on overlay to add another white overlay. You want to zoom in to fill the screen. Trim the white overlay down to 0 0.5 seconds. Add a keyframe at the beginning of the white overlay and then add a keyframe at the end of the white overlay. Then on the second keyframe, you want to click on opacity and change it to zero. So this is what we would have so far. Then click on export. Click on new project to open the video we just export. Then click on audio, extract, select the music, click on the audio, match cut, auto generate, select beat 2, then go to the first beat, click on overlay, add overlay to add in the pictures. If the picture you use has a background, you can remove it by using Pixar or remove.bg. You can check out my previous tutorial on how to do that. If you want to add a border like this to your picture, you can also check out my previous tutorial on how to add border to picture. Then you want to align this picture with the main clip. So it would be about 5.4 seconds. Then adjust the size and move it to the right side. Then go to the second beat. Then click on add overlay to add in the sun. Then adjust the size and move it to the left side. We are going to trim this down to 1.5 second. And then click on copy, may not the copy. For the second one, you're going to align it with the main video as well. So it would be about 3.1 second and 1.5 second. 
The reason we are having two copy for this is because we are going to use a in and out animation. For overlay animation, you can only use one animation at a time. So that's why we are splitting this. However, you can also import this as a sticker, which you can use a in and out animation at the same time. Then on the fourth bit, we are going to add the pointer. You can import it as an overlay or you can also click on stickers. Select the pointer from the sticker. Then you can adjust it to the size that you like. For this one, you are going to align it in between the seventh and the eighth bit. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So it would be in between. Now we are going to add animation to the person and the sun. So click on overlay, select the person, animation, in, then select slide left for the person. Duration would be about 1.5. For the sun, we are going to add an in animation as well. But for this one, we are going to select slide right. Duration would be max, which would be 1.5. Then click on the second one. We are going to add an out animation to it, which we would select slide left. Duration would be about 0 0.5. Now we are going to add keyframe to the person and the sun. So you would add the first keyframe at the fourth beat on both the sun and the person. Then at the second keyframe, on the fifth beat on the person and the sun third keyframe on the sixth beat on both then for the fourth keyframe you're going to add it not on the beat but slightly before the seventh beat on both as well Then we're going to go to the fifth bit, which is the second keyframe. For the person, you are going to zoom out. So it will be smaller. For the sun, you want to zoom in, so it will be bigger. Then go to the next keyframe. The person, you want to zoom in to make it bigger. And the sun, you can just leave it like that. Then go to the next one. The person you want to zoom out a little and the sun you want to zoom in a little. Then we are going to add another keyframe. So you want to add this keyframe at about a quarter of the seventh and eighth beat on the person and the sun. So for the sun you want to zoom out to make it small and then on the person you want to zoom in to make it big then at the next keyframe at about a third quarter of the seventh and eighth bit on the person and then move it to the middle and you want to rotate to about 10 degree or more if you want and then add another keyframe at the end of the person then you just zoom in the image of the person now we are going to add keyframe to the pointer so click on stickers and then at the beginning you want to add a keyframe on the pointer at the fourth beat and then fifth beat. For the first keyframe, you want it to move at the bottom like this. Then at a third keyframe at the sixth beat, then move the pointer to the right side of the person. Then at the fourth keyframe, slightly before the beat. And then move it back to the sun. And then zoom in. Then we are going to add another keyframe, same as the person, which is about a quarter of the seventh and eighth beat. And then move the pointer over there. And then add a keyframe at the end of the pointer and then move it downward like this so this is how you can create the first part of her or the sun edit in CapCut
I hope you found this video to be helpful. I will try to work on part 2 this week. As part 2 is a little bit more complicated, I might need more time to create a tutorial. So stay tuned for that. If you would like to see more CapCut related content, please consider like, subscribe, and comment down below. As always, I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you next time.